commerce, not just digital commerce, period, the implications. So what Biden calling for, as I was saying, Biden went and called for the Federal Reserve and the Treasury to go ahead and push for a CBDC for a digital dollar. This is an executive order and an executive order is long. You need to, man, listen, it's shit crazy. So what they're, ha- what they're happening anyway, and, and the, just the craze of crypto right now anyway, is destroying the dollar. And, you know, still with crypto, you know, you, you can, we're mining Bitcoin out of, you know, we're mining crypto out of nothing, you know, but at least there's a process to it with the P2P and everybody that's into it, you know, doing something for this to happen, but they being fucking greedy. And as I talk about in the video, the power consumption is it, it, fucking crazy. So what is that going to mean? What is that going to translate to? And this is a good one because... Most people don't don't know. I promise you, most of the shit you talk about in stock market for you never heard about. Most people are not paying attention to this because you're going about your day and you're working. But this is a real smooth behind the scenes situation that's going on. And even for those people that's invested in crypto, like they don't even know exactly how it all works. You just, you know, you got your your digital wallet and you know, you got your you know, your cryptocurrencies that you invested in. And you just, it's going up, it's going down, and what's happening? I mean, think about it. It's not like a regular stock to where we can understand company moves and corporations and the moves they make that's going to change the you know flow of the stock. Look at, I mean, last month, you had indexes go down. Dow Jones and all of them, down. Why? You know, what's going on? Man, we had, uh, you know, it's not going to happen all the time, but there's a correlation. It's been a correlation lately with regular stocks and crypto. So you're seeing regular stocks go down, uh, go down, stocks go down, and it affect crypto. So that's not going to keep happening, but it's, uh, it's a possibility something could happen down the line. You know, we'll, we'll see. But um, crypto is crypto, and it's just like almost like a fiat currency in itself because we're just basically all agreeing that it's money. And that's what we do with paper money. We, we all agree that it's money. And I also want to put this out there for I forget. For if you, if you bought the first three uh, stock markets, by the way, they're going to be all on sale on Podia. And again, Podia, everything is on Podia now. So go to Podia for everything. Do not go to Palos to buy nothing. Go to Podia. Everything is on Podia. Um, Palos is just, uh, I'm using it. It's basically storage, you might as well say. But go to Podia if you want to get anything. It's all on Podia. Um, but also, you know, for anybody, in, in case you don't buy stock market four, you don't see it for whatever reason, and you've seen the other three, you'll understand what I'm talking about. IOT, A or IOTC, whatever one you've been seeing, the internet of things, make sure you buy. I know it dropped. I know it dropped. Understand what I'm saying to you? Buy that shit. Buy, buy, buy. Get it. Talk, uh, t- I'll tell you why stock market four. And you understand why it's stock market for it, but make sure you're buying it. It's like 11 cent right now. Get it. And you're going to understand why and how. <sighs> hey, listen, buy it. <laughs> Just trust me on this. Buy that shit. Buy a lot of it. Just buy it. And um, sit back and wait. But this is something that, um, I mean, if you, unless you're fucking obsessed like me, you're not going to see it. Unless you do this like I do, you're not going to see what's coming. And even for the people that stock investors or crypto investors, I mean, you have to have an esoteric understanding and background and know why certain things is going to be the way it is. It's just just that simple. There's no way around that. And most people don't. They don't do what we do and they're not into what we're into. So if you do and you can you can see it, I mean, you see what's happening. But uh, blockchain, we get into it in the video. That's basically where everything is about. So blockchain, understand that and the technology behind it and how deep it is. So there's a lot. And like I said, I waited this long to put out part four for a reason because I wanted to see some things happen. And uh, yeah, so wear this shirt for a reason so you guys can understand that same black one on in the video and the DVD. But money is it's about to be done. I mean... It's, it's going to happen over there in Europe first. I talked about this before with um with Sweden. They they had they had freaking Cash App six seven years before America did. It's called something else. 
um, they've been had that to where they can send money through your phone. And we, you know, we catch up late on stuff for a reason because they're testing it on smaller markets. You might as well say in smaller countries. And a lot of people still haven't grasped the idea that America is basically, basically a group of fucking countries. You know, we call them states, but they're some of, some of these states are bigger than countries in Europe. So we're a bunch of fucking countries for real, for real. And if you go back, uh, you know, for the union, everything, I mean, everything, you know, even right after the union, um, they were considered states, you know, everything was considered, I mean, considered countries. These states was considered countries and, um, the presidents, president was basically the governor. The governor was basically the president of that country or, you know, the leader of that country until, you know, we all united and, you know, became what we are, but they have to test things. And that's what they've been doing. And we're not going to get, we're not going to get the results. <laughs> we just got to pay attention to see. And then, you know, we, we follow later and it is what it is. But, um, same reason why you seen what, you know, Corona, they did everything over there. They quarantined a lockdown first and then we did it later on. So they can, so we can see or they can see how, you know, everything was going to unfold. But well, this is what they do. This is what's going on. Uh, they talked about, I can't even talk about that. I can't even get into it, but talk about it in the video. What? crypto and over there and the sanctions. So they are anal right now. And I put the email and that um, I got from them in the video. So you understand what's being said. And I said this before, like I said, I think I'll be telling y'all it's happening. They're going to make you choose between speaking the truth and putting information out there and money. Not just that you having people get their channels taken down. I mean, people who've been on there for years, rip down and it's going to eventually happen because as these sanctions happen and it's happened to me already they go back see they're going back into videos and stuff that they put sanctions on and change it's been those videos are being taken down you know if they feel like your channel is you know about that only they'll just take the channel down so the videos i've had videos taken down as some of you guys let me know um old videos years ago just talking about even one of my buddhism videos uh Got sh got taken down and got a strike because I would, said I was saying something uh, against, you know, when a whole Uyghur thing happened. So you have to look at that and that's what's going to happen. And then eventually, once all this stuff comes into, you know, to their agenda, to that point, you know, all, none of this stuff is going to be here. I mean, the fact that they're talking about uh, critical race theory is telling you once this goes through, that's it. So having videos or information about black history and uh, you know, Black Wall Street and all that stuff and everything that happened. Nah. Another reason why when you upload a video, they ask you, is it for children or not? They didn't used to ask that before. And it's just one of the excuses they can use for taking down your video. And then they'll give you the reason that, oh, it's not suitable, suitable for children. And it's like, well, yeah, I said it's not for kids <laughs> in the first place. So again, they're letting you know how it's going to go. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's none of this shit is going to be here for, for a long for a long time. We're not going to have access to these videos. The stuff is going to be gone. Pay attention to the hidden message and when they're talking about this stuff. When you look at uh, the disclosure and what they're saying about censorship and everything like that, it's in there. The language is in there. That eventually, this shit is going to be gone because they're not going to want people to know about it. And it's not going to matter if you have uh, a platform, a small platform or what have you. It's going to be too much shit out here for people to do besides listen to what you're talking about or the information you, you're talking about anyway. People are going to be too much into things like they are now. It's only a special, you know, you have to be about this. You know, it's not that many people that even want to get into politics or talk about religion or anything like that. Anything argumentative these days. A lot of people got so many distractions that they want to, you know, jump into versus this type of information. But this type of information has made people crazy money and being conscious and understanding what's coming. There is no way. If you follow me, there's no way. If you follow me and listen to all the videos that I put out, you should have made money off of this shit. There's no way. I can't, you know, I can't put out what I want all the time. I can't say everything that I want, but I put out enough for you to see this shit so you can see by now where you need to be invested in what's going on. It's personal shit. I can't talk about. It's one of the reasons why I can't wait to get this stuff done. So I could put more out there, but it's no way you should have came up off this. You need to understand because now here's your shot. Here's your shot. I promise you, it's your shot right now to get in. It's not going to be with crypto. Crypto going to be short term. You can make money. You can come up if you're a miner and you got that kind of 
you know, uh, allocation of power. If you don't know what that means, you'll find out in the video. And uh, if you want to join one of those, you know, mining groups or what have you, then, you know, you can make some money. But we know what happens with that. But um, there's no way you should be able to come up off of this with your knowledge and make good money. And, um, you know, I'm trying to grow something bigger that's, that's you know, want to be able to adapt to the change of what's happening. So I appreciate you guys' support on everything because it matters. Because like I said, you know, I ain't white folks rich. I don't have it all crazy, crazy. And um, I appreciate the support that I get. And, you know, it helps. But, you know, things are, you know, moving the way that they can based on circumstances. You know, you can't, like I said, you can't always do exactly what you want and rely on people to do things to benefit, you know, your goals and your situations. Everybody got their own stuff. I encourage you guys to work hard for what you're doing and, and put away your money and save and invest and be smart. You know, so when an opportunity comes for you to come up and do something, you want to make sure you got the money there because that's what's going to happen to you. The reason why you're not going to make it is because you're going to miss that boat, the opportunity, because you're not putting money away. So put money away, invest in the right things. Be smart about what you do. Educate yourself. Get the knowledge. That's the biggest thing. And that's what we slack on the most. And it's like, just use your brain. And um, make the right decisions because worst thing, you don't want an opportunity to come by for you to change your bloodline's wealth and you don't have the money. You know, you don't have the money. I've, I've, I've been in that position. And luckily for me, I had the money because, you know, I took off two years and just saved. I know not everybody can do that. That's not possible for everybody, but something to that effect is. And you just got to figure out a way to do it and stop bullshitting and cheating yourself and put this money away. But um, for those of you who hit me up about crypto, um, yeah, a lot of you seen it. A lot of people seen the push. You know, there's this push. You're paying attention. If you watch TV enough, uh, you know, you're seeing it, you know, and you're going to see it more and more for this push for people to get in. And when it's when it's subtle like this, it's serious. Because it's been subtle. I mean, we can go back. I talked about in the video. Go back to 2018 when um, 50 Cent came out and he talked about, uh, yeah, he did some music business and somebody paid him in Bitcoin. And he was like, okay, well, whatever. And then, you know, next thing you know, you know it's worth like six, eight million dollars. And it's like, oh, shit, he had no clue. And stuff like this is getting people, you know, into it. And now the fact that you have fraction of shares where, you know, every time you get paid, you should be buying. Right now, yeah, it should be buying because it has to do what it's going to do. It has to do it because they need to get you know more and more people in, and they will, and people are. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for uh, taking the time to watch and support, and I'll see you guys next video.